literally decides if your car flies or flies past the finish line. When your car moves, it's punching through a wall of air. That resistance is called drag. The more drag, the harder your engine works, and the slower you go. <laughs> That's why boxy cars feel like they're driving through soup at high speeds. Now, downforce is the opposite. It pushes your car down into the road. More grip, more control. That big spoiler on the back? Not just for flex, it flips the air to keep you glued to the ground. <laughs> Think of it like pressing on a toy car so it doesn't spin out. But there's balance. Too much downforce and you'll grip like crazy but lose top speed. Too little and you'll slide off corners like a rocket on sale. That's why engineers spend months testing airflow, smoke tunnels, clay models, and endless tweaks. All just to fight invisible air. Look at the McLaren 